Do you have a tingling electric pain that comes from the hip and down your leg, prevents you from doing normal life and even at night it bothers you and there is no way to stop? Then stay and watch this video and I will give you three exercises to unblock the sciatic nerve. Hello everyone and welcome once again to Physiolution, your physiotherapy, health and wellness channel. I'm Borja de la Puerta, physiotherapist of Physiolution and today I come to bring you a video for those of you who are in pain, who have that constant Asian pain with three exercises to unblock the sciatic nerve. And first of all, you may be wondering what is sciatic pain or the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is the largest and longest nerve in the body, passing through the lower back and down to the toes. From the lower lumbar region, it passes through a hole in the pelvis called the greater sciatic foramen and normally travels under the piriformis muscle. And that muscle is the culprit that when it has contractures can cause those Asian symptoms. The nerve continues down the back of the thigh and reaches the popliteal fossa. There it divides in two, into the tibial nerve and the common peroneal nerve, both of which run from the calf to the foot. But before we go any further, a word from our health sponsor, Fisaude, one of the leading companies in Spain in the field of health, physiotherapy, and sport. It has more than 10 years of experience helping and providing logistical support to clinics like ours. Thanks to their commitment, dedication, and continuous growth, they offer us the best quality products, high technology equipment, and creams of their own manufacture at the best price. In addition, they are specialists in integral assembly of clinics and physiotherapy centers. As they trust so much in their products and they are so nice, they offer you a discount code for 2022 in your online sales purchases. If you are looking for the best solution in any health field, you know where our friends are. Pfizer Day is the answer. And why does this symptomatology of the sciatic nerve occur? Well, this occurs because the sciatic nerve in some parts of its path is blocked or is trapped by any of the things that can be, for example, from a protrusion or a lumbar hernia to an entrapment by a muscle contracture of a muscle. As we said before, the piriformis, for example. Guys, let's start with this routine of three exercises that will come in handy to unblock that sciatic nerve involvement. The first of all, uh, the one we already know as the cat or camel cat, whatever you want to call it, is an exercise in which what we are going to do is we will get on all fours and we will block our arms well so that our elbows do not move when we do the exercise and when we take a breath we will make a gesture in which we will mobilize the pelvis increasing all the lumbar area as much as we can the curvature and we will bring the head upwards when releasing the chin to the chest and we will make the opposite gesture as if we want to bring the pelvis forward as much as we can we take a breath raising our head and release We will perform this exercise in three sets of 10 repetitions because it is a very good exercise that will allow us to mobilize the whole lumbar area and the area of origin or the nerve root. Second exercise to unblock the sciatic nerve. Just as we have already begun to mobilize the structure of the hip, we must begin to give elasticity to the muscles that can also compress or block the sciatic nerve. To do this, we will lie down on our back. We will make a four with the leg, in which the leg that we make the four is the one that has the affected nerve. In my case, it would be in this case the right one. And we will grab the opposite leg and we will raise upwards as much as we can to give elasticity to that piriformis muscle, which is one of the main culprits many times of that nerve entrapment or blockage. Both this stretch and the next one I'm going to show you will be done in two series of 30 seconds a day. Second stretch, taking advantage that we are already lying down, what we will do is stretch the leg that is healthy or not affected and the leg that is affected, what we will do is grab the knee and take it to the opposite shoulder. And to do this, you will notice how the whole area will pull you. And we will hold it there, taking it towards the opposite shoulder as much as you can. Third exercise to unblock the psychiatric nerve. This is probably the most important exercise and the one you have to pay more attention to when you do it. There are two ways to do it. The first one, since we are lying down, is the most basic and we are going to do it here. The first thing to do would be to bend the leg 
Second, we will grab the leg and in this way we do not have to do an excess of force or activation of the musculature. And we will begin to stretch the leg upwards until we notice those symptoms of sciatic pain. Once we are there, what we will do is play with our foot and our head. What does this mean? What we will do is that when the tip of the foot moves away from us, the chin will go upwards. And when we take the foot towards us, the head will stretch or we will move the chin away from the chin. Then we will begin to play with our foot and with our head. Then we will begin to do the exercise. We take the sole of the foot down and the chin goes up. We return slowly with the tip of the foot and we force it towards us as much as we can and we stretch the neck. We will continuously do this exercise very slowly to mobilize well the nerve as much as we can and we will make this exercise and this we will make it between three and five minutes. Once we have been doing this exercise for a while, you will notice how little by little the symptoms become less and once you barely notice it, we will make an evolution of this exercise, which I am going to explain below. We continue with the evolution of the exercise. We are sitting then to continue treating that symptomatology of sciatica that we had before. And that blockage, what we will do now will be hands on the back. We will reflect, that is, we will drop our body forward to increase the curvature and tension in the back. And we will begin to raise the leg upwards little by little until we notice tension. Once we have that tension, we will do the same movement as before. We will take the tip of the foot down and the chin towards the chest. And little by little, the tip of the foot upwards and the head downwards. Down and upwards and look at the ceiling. We will perform this exercise as before for three to five minutes. Great recommendations for this video to unblock sciatica. Guys, the first of all and most important thing is to go to the doctor. It is very important that you have a good diagnosis of the pathology to know how it is trapped if there is some kind of problem, either hernia, contracture, or even the nerve itself, so that we have the diagnosis and treatment can be as effective as possible. It is important that when you work in your day-to-day, -day, you have good ergonomics, because if not, this is going to make the whole nerve is affected much more by compression when you are sitting and even when you sleep. If you lift weight, also be very careful, because a bad posture when lifting the weight, i.e. bending the entire trunk instead of bending the knees, can make all that pain increases much more. Uh, it is also very important the subject of nutrition since being overweight can affect not only because it increases the abdomen but also because it increases lumbar pain. And finally the issue of heat and cold. It is very important that we are very clear about this concept. If there is a muscular affectation that is compressing the sciatic nerve, heat will be very good to relax the muscle. But if we have a very intense radicular pain is when we can apply cold. But as I said very carefully, why? Because the cold is something that will make the muscle spasm and this will be counterproductive if we are not very clear about the origin and the reason. If you want to know more exercises on how to unblock the sciatic nerve, we leave you a video of how to unblock the sciatic nerve in 5 minutes. If you like the video, leave us a comment and remember we only respond to visible subscribers as we receive hundreds of comments a day and we can't respond to all of them. If you like the video, leave us a like, subscribe and turn on the little bell. See you in the next video, until healing and beyond.